and welcome back to Cram Farm. So today I'm gonna to show you a little bit of this Costco haul that we just did. Um, we are a family of six, and this is not a weekly haul. This is more of things that kind of keep stock, different things that we use for different things. Um, we have a birthday party coming up. So I'll kind of explain what I got and why I got some things, and then I'll take you through um, the items and just show you what we got. So you wanna stay tuned. I'm actually going to show you how I do our meal plan um, for this next coming week you'll see some of these items used in that so if you're interested in that and you want to see a little bit more about meal planning stay tuned so that you can see us using some of these items all right so the first thing is some organic spinach so i use this in my daughter's g2 feeds i mean we can also throw it in i'm doing a quiche this week and use it for other meals but the main reason i grab bagged or container spinach is to throw some veggies in her g2 feed the next thing our kids love, um, frozen fruit. Um, they'll eat them frozen, blueberries, organic blueberries. We got two bags of those this week. Well, we got two bags of those this time. The um, Deets and Watson organic roasted. So these come as a three pack, and so you will get three packs. You can just cut them here. So you can like keep one out, put the others in the freezer. Um, so organic, no nitrates, nothing. I don't use deli meat a ton, but sometimes when we need a quick meal on the go, we'll use these with like some meat, the meat and then wrap up some cheese. It'll be a quick and easy lunch for kids on the go. So I got three packages of that. So that's nine packages of deli meat. Um, we go through a lot of strawberries with like uh, smoothies or either just eating them or using them with different things. So we love these organic strawberries. This is a four pound package and we've got three one two and three three of those all right uh these amy lou amy lou i don't know how you pronounce that but these organic uh chicken burgers so the ingredients are really clean on here you'll see that it's organic chicken which means it's not gmo um the cheddar cheese organic caramelized onions organic extra virgin olive oil organic red pepper sea salt organic evaporated cane sugar now there's only a tiny bit of sugar in here so there's sugar is only one gram per burger so it's not that bad then you have organic spices rosemary and garlic these are great for a quick um lunch i'm actually going to use these this week and pair them with a uh, spaghetti squash meal i'm making for lunch uh we were out of butter so i got four packages of the kirkland brain grass-fed butter so this is 95 percent grass-fed butter um if you're familiar with Kerrygold, it's pretty similar to that four packages of that we did grab a thing of raspberries just because it's cheaper than what our grocery store sells raspberry packages for and a pack of organic three cucumbers we'll use these for some snacks this week as well i want to get through the cold stuff kind of first so then we can um get that in the fridge and then i'll fridge and freezer and then i'll come back to the other stuff we've been using these uh chicken sausages for a while it's hard for us to find organic uh, keep in mind, even when I'm going to Costco to a Costco haul, it's an hour and a half from us. So it's not like I can just run down the road and grab something. So we kind of planned a Sunday afternoon to go do this haul so that we would have it. And I already had my list ready for the week. And I kind of just keep a running list of what we're running out of or what we're going through in the pantry. So while these aren't organic, they are the healthiest version of a sausage that we can find around here. If you come and look at the ingredients... You're only going to see chicken, water, sea salt, spices, lemon peel, um, and parsley. I would love it more if they were organic, meaning they didn't probably eat um, a GMO diet. Um, but they aren't any antibiotics used. Chicken raised without antibiotics. Vegetarian fed diet, which is kind of silly to me because chickens aren't vegetarians. But anyway, these chicken sausages are so easy. You can throw them in the oven. Um, you can throw them in the skillet. It says microwave. We don't have a microwave. But I have thrown them in the oven several times, or you can throw them on the stove top. They're done, but they're already cooked through, and so it doesn't take long at all um, to cook these. And so we use them in like egg bite muffin cups that I make. I use them in quiches, um, all sorts of things. And then the, I think the last frozen item I got was four packages of the organic broccoli. So these packages have four bags inside of them. So we essentially got 16 packages of broccoli. We do a lot of broccoli for um different meals with it's just an easy easy side you know you can steam this or add it to dishes we eat a lot of broccoli so 
that's the cold stuff. I'm gonna get that put away and then I'll come back and show you the non-refrigerated items. Okay, one thing I forgot on um, the refrigerated stuff is Parmesan cheese. I got, I love this one. It has really good flavor. Um, so I got this whole wedge of Parmesan that we will use for some recipes this week. So now to our non-perishable things. We got uh, the six cans of salmon and I think this was $14.99 for six cans. So it came out to $2.49 a can, which is cheaper than our store. I needed some more freezer bags. Um, I know plastic, I try not to use a ton of it, but we freeze our daughter's G2 feeds when I make some ahead of time. Um, and so I needed more of those. Uh, marinara sauce. I did just get a couple four jars toast. So two packs here of the Rayos um, marinara. Now the reason I use this is because it doesn't have added sugar. Um, total sugar is four, but they're not added sugars. It means they're not adding like cane sugar. Even the organic um, Classico that they have at Costco, they add sugar into it. This is not. Um, and while I would love for it to be organic, the good thing is that they are using whole peeled tomatoes in this. And so um, the skin is coming off. That's where your pesticides and things are being sprayed. While I would love it if it was organic, this is the better of what you can get at Costco. And I only got a couple because I do still need to make some more marinara sauce myself. Uh, two things of almond butter. We use this in smoothies, fruit, things like that. And the organic maple syrup. This is honestly the best price you can get organic maple syrup for is at Costco. Um, it's $12.49 a container. I remember a couple years ago when it was like $9.99, but $12.49 now, but it's still much cheaper than anything else you're going to find. Um, and it's great. So I got six of those. Now, this is not the best thing to buy. However, ingredient wise, it is the best you can get of ingredients for an organic macaroni and cheese. Um, you know, we have kids, they do like some mac and cheese. And so this Annie's organic one is not terrible. Um, so it does have organic, the pasta is organic, the whey, cultured cream, um, milk, butter, cheddar cheese, cornstarch, annatto, citric acid. It does still have like sodium phosphate. And why I prefer not that not to be in there, if I want something quick and easy that they can cook on their own at home, um, you know, it's all 80-20 here. So we just do the best that you can, best ingredients you can get for this type of item. So I got two packages of almond flour. I use this for a lot of things. We use, still use some wheat, but I use almond flour. So I got two packages of those. And a great deal right now, although I don't love the containers, um, the great deal with the Vital Proteins um, collagen is that they are $9 off at Costco right now. Um, that is the September sale. And so these were $23.99 where they are normally $31.99 or $32. They might be $32 now. Yeah, because they were $9 off. Um, so I got two of those. I grabbed one for a friend because she needed some too. And then, oh, chia seeds. Chia is, I mean, so if you look at this, if you use three tablespoons, you're getting about five grams of protein. Um, they're great for fiber. And so fiber helps you to stay full longer. Um, total carbs in it is 13. There's no sugar and chia seeds. They're just really good for you. Um, throw them in a smoothie. You'll never know that they are there. Some people will throw them on salads. We've done that a lot. Um, and you can even make like chia puddings and things that people like. Um, we put them in overnight oats too. A little dose of healthy helps you stay full. And then two bags of the organic pumpkin seeds. So we keep these on hand. They're really high in zinc. It's great for um, this time of year when colds and viruses and things are floating all around. Um, the other great thing is that these are sprouted and they're organic. So um, you can eat some of these. Some people say that magnesium helps with sleep. And so these are high in magnesium. You can eat some before bed and help you out. So two things I got more on the, look, that one's already been open. Two on the healthier treat side of things are these unreal um, coconut bars. My daughter likes these. They are only 70 calories in one bar, five grams of fat, eight carbs, one fiber. And there's only three grams of added sugar. And the added sugar does come from cane sugar. Um, but this organic coconut, organic chocolate, sorry, organic coconut, organic cassava syrup, and some cane sugar um, in the 
chocolate. So dark chocolate coconut minis. We don't buy those all the time. It's just like a treat. And then the other one is these uh, skinny dip dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They have two grams of sugar per little cup. You'll see them here, little ones. And so um, the sugar here is cane sugar also, but they have peanut butter, unsweetened chocolate, um, chicory root, cocoa powder, um, peanut flour, maple sugar, non-fat milk, sea salt, sunflower, lecithin, and vanilla. So if you want a healthy sweet, there's something that's pre-packaged, easy to grab and go. Two packages of almonds, we use these a lot for snacks. Um, so two packages of almonds. And then I almost forgot the pasta here. Whoa. So we got these six packs of pasta. Um, it is organic. You wanna make sure that your wheat products are organic because they are spraying them with a lot of glyphosate. Um, so make sure you're getting organic. And then we got two boxes of the Simple Mills crackers. We like these, they're made out of almond flour. Um, I don't necessarily need them this week, but I grabbed them while we were there. Um, the kids will use them with snacks. Um, they like them with guacamole, they like them with cheese. And so I keep some of those on hand. And then peanut butter. And yes, you're gonna think this is a lot of peanut butter, but we use it for smoothies. We use it for, I use them in my daughter's G2 feeds that I make to give her some extra calories. And it is organic. The best thing I like about it is that the ingredients in this are, you're gonna have peanuts and sea salt. So dry, roasted, organic peanuts and sea salt is are the only ingredients in here. So you don't want uh, peanut butters that have palm oil. They're highly inflammatory. Um, so Kirkland, the Costco organic peanut butter is one of the best and the cheapest organic peanut butters you can get. Um, we got these LaCroix um, sparkling waters. The kids like to have those. We have a birthday party coming this weekend. We have those and we have, that's when I also grab the popcorn also for them to have at the party. It is organic, um, so, you know, it's some popcorn. The ingredients are organic non-GMO popcorn, organic coconut oil, Himalayan salt, or an organic butter flavoring. So, pretty simple. We could just pop some popcorn, I guess, but this was easy and ready, and for a birthday party, that will be great. Oh, last thing, toilet paper. We always just grab some when we're there to keep it stocked up, and I grabbed some of that for a friend, too. Did I hit every, oh, raisins. Um, I'll use these in um, our granola and our cereal that I make. We still had another bag in there, but I knew we'd go through it pretty quickly doing some cereals. So I just grabbed this. There are two packages of the organic raisins in this box. Did I hit everything? Okay. I think that's it. Oh, so our total for all of this, and remember there's six of us in the house. This is not what we do every week. This is like a big overall haul. I mean, like obviously we don't go through six things to make people up. And a week so this was seven hundred and thirty six dollars for all of this um yeah you know prices are going up it's just the way it is there's some things that i mean i could have cut out if i didn't you know we didn't have to have the mac and cheese i grabbed two of them while i was there what i have noticed lately what i've been trying to do is buy things at costco when they're on sale and stock up then however we were out of these and these were on sale the other week and i didn't get back there to get them so i had to pay full price now but it like with the collagen, I bought two. That will hold us over until it goes on sale again. Sales typically run like every three to four, they cycle like every three months or so. So if you find something when it's on sale, get you enough to get you through to the next sale. And so then you're not paying full price. But like I was said, like the little Croix, these were on sale for $6.99 at our local grocery store. I think they're three something for um, eight. So if you can stock up when things are on sale, it really will. Oh, same thing with these pumpkin seeds. So these were, 390 off i think um this will be plenty for us we already had two bags in there that's why i just grabbed two more we already had two bags i grabbed two more these will get us through they'll run the sale again probably close to christmas time i see it a couple times a year and i just grab them when we have them that way we always have them on hand so if you have questions let me know in the comments below if not stay tuned for our meal planning video i'll show you how i use some of this and that's it for now we'll see you next time right here at cram farms